Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to the last Vegas 14 tutorial of the day and in this smart, uh, smart, in this small, I wanted to say small and short at the same time, in this small short video, I'm going to show you guys how to add amazing film effects because I can already hear you guys, uh, like Alex, what do you understand uh, on um, amazing film effects. Well guys, first of all, I'm gonna apply three cool things. The first one is color correction, brightness and contrast, and light leaks. That's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna start off with the color correction. So as you can see, I just have a really small video of my uh, of mine reacting to 10,000 subscribers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some cool film effects on there. And I'm gonna just go over to the video effects tab. We're gonna pick the color corrector, drag that on top of our video track. And as you can see, those three, um, like, how do you call this like panels or like showing up and right here we can actually apply some cool effects on so i would say i'm just going to go over and my, like put some more blue on there i think that looks pretty pretty legit uh and let's see if if what this does the second one uh let's also place this one a little bit in the red that looks pretty cool and the high the high tones let's just place this guy into a little bit into the light blue so as you can see right now we have to add some cool effects but this works best when you're adding when you're when you make like a short film or something but i don't have any short film footage or something so i'm just doing it on this video so now that we have actually added the color correction that's one that's step one the next thing the second thing is we're going to add some brightness and contrast obviously as you can see we have a lot of presets but we're going to make ourselves pick the default one drag it on top of there and right here in this menu, we're gonna just go ahead and start messing with these markers until we're happy with it. So as you can see, if I bring up the brightness a lot, it's just going to look very terrible. It's not something doing. It's not doing anything great. So I'm just, so I'm just gonna keep this one on zero. Let's see what, what what else do we have. Let's pick the contrast and let's bring that up a little bit because let's spice up the video because this is actually like too less this is too much as you can see my face everything is just messed up the colors so let's go over to the beginning and let's this is too less i'm gonna place this guy right here and i think this looks pretty cool guys so the contrast center just keep this one on 0 0.500 because you're gonna totally mess around with the with the white balance and it's not gonna work at all so i'm gonna keep this one on 0 0.500 on the standard and that is how it looks already so this looks pretty cool guys the last thing that we're gonna add is light leaks now light leaks are actually like leaks from a light it is that simple i'm gonna just show you guys what i mean so i'm gonna open up the light leaks folder on my uh drive okay guys so as you guys noticed i opened up the light leaks folder and i have different ones if i play back this one as you can see this is a really short one but this is also a little bit too bright and that's really short this is like two seconds but if i play back this one this one is pretty light and it adds some cool effects on there this one is also very cool for a uh, transition this one that's what i use a long time ago for a long time like this transition um, but we're going to just go over and place, this one is also cool, we're going to place one of those three. So I'm going to pick this one, the number eight, and I'm going to just drag that in. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over and create a new video track and we're going to place this guy on top of it. And as you can see right now, you cannot see through it because the compositing mode of the track, of the track is not optimized. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we, we're not able to see through it as you guys can see, but we're going to, or people say like you can fix this by lowering the opacity, but that really does, does not, does not do a great job. We're going to keep the opacity on hundred and we're going to go over to the compositing mode of this track. And we're going to place this guy from source alpha to screen. And if I play the video, as you can see, boom, the light leaks are just like overlaid on the track we're not losing any opacity and as you can see it is it looks that great guys look how awesome this looks when i stand up we have so many lights going on it looks that crazy it is looking freaking amazing guys that is how you add awesome film effects on top of it let's just pick another uh, light leak just for the example let's just pick this one this one has audio so i'm going to delete this audio track and as you get as you guys can see if i stand up look how how amazing it looks though this is the power of light leaks and when i stand up this is like a little bit too bright obviously you can lower the opacity uh but this is freaking sick guys this is how it looks and that is how to add light leaks guys obviously those are just downloadable videos from youtube just 
go to YouTube light leaks uh, and you can just find like a bunch of uh, like light leaks out there. So that's it for this really small video guys. Thank you guys for the continued support. I'll see you guys actually tomorrow for one for the last video of 20 uh 16 already i think let me check if it is, is it going to be the last video of 2017 of 2016 yep that's right i'll see you guys tomorrow for the last video of 2016 guys have an awesome 2017 you have you guys have my best wishes so that's it for the video guys thank you guys for watching thank you guys for liking subscribing on this video and i will see you guys tomorrow and otherwise i will catch you guys in the next year so thank you for thank you for being so loyal and supportive and i will see you guys tomorrow for the last time in 2016 so that's it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom, so thank you for the continued support, if you want to see more content make sure to click right here, that's it for today, thank you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow.